It could have been the worst, but now it's the best because God reached down and healed. And he will do that for you. He is no respecter of persons. What he's done for others, he will do for you. He is able, and here's the secret to miracles. When you understand he wants to, that it's his innermost being, when you hear that, you turn to him and go, I know you want to heal me. That's when you get a miracle. If you think it's up to you know your special prayer or how much faith you can drum up or how many good deeds you've done or how many good deeds you're going to do, any of those things. No, you're getting off the very heart, the very nature of, of Jesus. Look to him. He is the author and finisher of your faith. Look to his great love that while we were sinners, he died for us. That great love. Look to his outstretched arms that redeem you. Look to him on the cross. Realize he's already taken it. And when you do, you get all the faith you need to believe for miracles. Now, we're going to pray. Before we pray, here's some other miracles for you. Here's CJ by email. He wrote in and said, I was getting ready to leave the house for an appointment near the end of the 700 Club. I was just about to turn off the TV. Terry had a word about someone with a throat issue. Well, that stopped me in my tracks. For about two years, I've had constant gravelly voice and had to clear my throat whenever I spoke. It was identical to what Terry was saying. I cleared my throat, claimed it. With almost no hesitation, my throat was cleared and has remained that way since. I waited to write just to be sure, but I'm still clear as a bell, which is great since I talk for a living in my job. And now I can return to singing for God. Thank you and praise God. That's wonderful. This is Veronica who lives in Sterling Heights, Michigan. And she writes, I went to my doctor for the pain and pulse sensation I was getting in my stomach. He did an EKG, which came out abnormal and then scheduled me for a stress test. One day, the Holy Spirit prompted me to watch the 700 Club. At the very end of the prayer segment, Gordon said, God is healing blockages in the name of Jesus. Hearts are meant to be normal. God has healed you. It's a great miracle for you. That word dropped into my heart and I took it by faith. I went for the stress test and did a virtual follow-up with the doctor. He said, your heart is pumping normally, no blockages. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes. Let the word mm -hmm. drop into your heart. Yes. Let the word become flesh in you. That's the great miracle of the gospel, the good news, that the word can become flesh in you. The word was flesh. It dwelt among us. He dwelt here, right here on earth. What he did so long ago, it's now 2,000 years. It's wonderful. He's still doing today. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he's done for others, he will do for you all you have to do is open your heart and let that word drop into it. And God does all the rest. Let's pray. Lord God Almighty, we come to you. We claim your wonderful word that you forgive all our iniquities. You heal all our diseases. Mm -hmm. So we ask right now that that word be opened, that our eyes would be open to see it, our ears would be open to hear it, and our hearts would be open to understand. Give us a heart of understanding, Lord God. Let your word dwell in us richly. Let it germinate into faith and into wholeness and into healing right now in Jesus' name. There's someone you're suffering with a heart condition. There's congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. Uh, God is healing your heart muscle. He's taking away all that fluid right now. In the name of Jesus, your heart was meant to beat normally, function normally, no more arrhythmia, no more problem, no more weakness. In the name of Jesus, you're healed now. Terry? Yes, someone else, you, you have an issue with your mouth. It's not your teeth. Like you've been in an accident that has just jammed your face right below your nose. And so all that bone 
God's healing that for you. The question has been, will it heal? Will you be able to keep your teeth? Yes, God's healing that for you right now, even as we speak. And someone else, you have a, I don't know if it's eczema, but you have this painful and itching at the same time rash you get in various parts of your body. God's healing that for you right now. It's going to go away and it will not reoccur, though you've had it for years. Uh, there's someone you're suffering with depression and anxiety, and God just wants to speak. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Mm -hmm. Wait on the Lord. Let him renew your joy, yeah. your hope. You, let, your, let your hope just bloom in his presence. He wants to give it to you right now mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Yeah, someone else, you have an issue with your feet. It's almost like um, gout, but you, you, it comes, it goes. You can't hardly walk when you have it. God's healing that for you right now. Balance in your system. It will not come back again. And God wants to heal the brokenhearted right now. If you're brokenhearted, reach out to him and let him heal you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.